Have you ever wondered why some individuals might air their dissatisfaction on social media, especially about their partner? We are embarking on a journey to dissect the digital behavior of an intriguing personality type, the narcissist. We will delve into the depths of their motivations, exploring why they might choose to express their grievances publicly instead of addressing them privately. Their actions may seem baffling, yet there could be method to the madness. In the next few minutes, we will explore some possible reasons behind this intriguing behavior. One of the primary reasons could be the thirst for attention and validation. Narcissists are known for their insatiable need for admiration. They crave the spotlight, thriving on the attention they receive from others. This desire often goes beyond the usual human need for recognition and validation. It's more like an addiction, a dependence on the approval and praise of others to maintain their inflated self-perceptions. Now, imagine this craving in the realm of social media, where likes, comments and shares are the currency of validation. When a narcissist airs their dissatisfaction with their partner online, they might be doing it to garner sympathy and support. Each sympathetic comment, each like or share feeds their need for validation. It's a quick and easy way to get the attention they crave, all while painting themselves as the wronged party. So, by airing dissatisfaction online, they might be trying to inflate their self-image. Another reason might be the need for control and manipulation. When a narcissist airs their dissatisfaction on social media, they're not just sharing their feelings, they're also setting the stage. This stage is one where they can play the puppet master, controlling the narrative and manipulating people's perceptions. Their partner, now publicly shamed, is put on the defensive. They may feel obligated to respond, to justify themselves, or even to apologize publicly. This tips the balance of power in favor of the narcissist. It's a classic case of triangulation, involving others in the relationship to create tension and division. The partner is now not just dealing with the narcissist, but with an audience swayed by the narcissist's narrative. This public display of dissatisfaction could be a calculated move to control the narrative and manipulate the situation. Yet another reason could be the act of shifting blame. In the complex world of a narcissist, they are never the antagonist. They are the misunderstood heroes, the victims of others' shortcomings. Airing their grievances online provides them with a platform to play this role convincingly. By sharing their side of the story, they skillfully deflect blame and paint themselves as the victim. This narrative elevates their status and feeds their ego while simultaneously damaging their partner's reputation. They create a public spectacle where they are the ones wronged and their partner is the villain. The partner then finds themselves in a difficult position to defend against these accusations, often feeling cornered and misunderstood. In this twisted game of blame, the narcissist weaves a web of confusion, creating a distorted reality where they are the ones wronged. By painting themselves as the victim, they manipulate the perception of others. A significant factor could be a lack of empathy and communication skills. Narcissists, by nature, often grapple with these essential elements of harmonious human interaction, empathy, the capacity to understand and share the feelings of another can be a foreign concept to them. It's like trying to explain color to someone who has only seen in black and white. This deficit in understanding can extend to their communication skills. Engaging in a healthy dialogue requires an empathetic approach, understanding and responding to the emotional state of the other person. But for a narcissist, such a conversation might seem like a complex puzzle difficult to piece together. The online world, however, presents an easier alternative. The keyboard becomes their voice, the screen their mask. Anonymously, they can vent their frustrations, their dissatisfaction, their grievances without having to navigate the tricky pathways of face-to-face -face communication. Their inability to communicate maturely might push them to vent their frustrations online. The final reasons we will explore today 
are the need for an audience and fuel for future arguments. To a narcissist, the world is their stage and social media provides the perfect platform. They thrive on the reactions of their online audience, basking in the attention, sympathy and support they receive when they air their grievances publicly. This need for an audience is more than just a desire for validation, it's a key part of the narcissist's manipulation tactics by airing their partner's so-called wrongdoings on social media. They're not only shaming and controlling their partner, but also setting a stage for future conflicts. Imagine this, every post, every comment, every like becomes a part of their arsenal, a weapon they can wield in future arguments. It's as if they're building a case, gathering evidence to justify their actions, their words, their anger. But it's important to remember that this evidence is often distorted, twisted to fit the narrative they want to tell. They paint themselves as the victim and their partner as the villain, when in reality, the truth is often much more complex. This behavior, this need for an audience and fuel for future arguments, is a stark reminder of the narcissist's lack of empathy and disregard for the well-being of their partner. It's a stark reminder that to a narcissist, social media isn't just a platform for connection. It's a battleground. In essence, social media becomes a stage for their drama and a tool for their manipulations. In conclusion, there are several reasons why a narcissist might air their dissatisfaction on social media. Firstly, they seek attention and validation by posting their grievances online, they receive sympathy and support from their followers, which feeds their need for adoration. Secondly, it's about control and manipulation. Publicly shaming their partner forces them into a defensive position and can also create a triangulation effect, stirring tension and division. Thirdly, it's a strategy for shifting blame. They paint themselves as the victim, damaging their partner's reputation. Fourthly, their lack of empathy and poor communication skills make it easier for them to vent frustrations online rather than have mature discussions. Lastly, they seek an audience and fuel for future arguments. Remember, understanding these behaviors is crucial, but your well-being and mental health should always take precedence. Seek support when needed.